Hi, I'm Doug McKinley, and you're watching Adorama TV. Today, we're going to dissect three reportage travel documentary pictures. We're going to look at the hows, the whys, and the wherefores, and all the nuts and bolts, and how we got these pictures. Adorama TV presents Stay Focused with Doug McKinley. China is just such a fascinating country. It's just so diverse. I've had the good fortune of working here quite a few times. It was on my last visit that I got this picture. We were walking in the Mili Snow Mountain Range in Yunnan Province when we came across this Buddhist monastery. It's surrounded by high walls with a central courtyard. And on the day we turned up, the monks were mostly in the center chanting and praying. But out of the corner of my eye, I saw these fellas sitting on the step watching the goings on. It was just the way they sat down in this very ad hoc position, way. There was nobody directing them, they just sat down. It was really, really good. So I wanted to get the shot, but I didn't want to scare them off. So I was about 30 meters away, and I started walking slowly across the courtyard. And as I was walking, I was thinking, how am I going to set my camera up? What are they going to be, what the readings are going to be? Because the light was quite diffused because of the overcast sky, I thought ISO 400 for sure. But I wanted a little bit of depth of field, so F8 had to be my, my aperture setting. Now, I only had a shutter speed of 1 125th of a second. Risky, I know. But I didn't really want to bump the ISO up because I was thinking about digital noise. So I knew I only had one shot at getting this picture. So as I walked across the courtyard, slowly, I stopped directly in front of them, lifted the camera and got the shot. And as soon as I got the shot, everything changed. Now look, I know I didn't ask for permission to take this picture of these guys, but sometimes with pictures, they're just so fleeting. If you do ask for permission beforehand, you'll lose the image. You won't get the expressions these guys have got in their faces at the moment. Later on, of course, I talked to them and they were cool with it. But sometimes you have to ask beforehand. If the opportunity arises, then you do it. One of the most interesting jobs I've done recently was I was sent 250 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle in Sweden. I was sent to photograph a hotel that was situated in the middle of the lake on a meter of ice. Quirky? Yes. Interesting? Perhaps not, if it weren't for the presence of the Northern Lights. So this was all new to me. I'd never shot anything like this before. So my first protocol was the internet. I wanted to do some research and see how other people had done it. I was worried about the F numbers and the shutter speeds and the ISO settings. So when I got into place, I started making a whole bunch of series of pictures, but this is the one I liked the best. Now this is at F8, the 10 second exposure at ISO 800. I'm using a 24 millimeter 1.4 lens, obviously mounted on my tripod and using a cable release to avoid any kind of camera shake. Still, when I was looking at this scene, I was a little concerned about losing my two foreground subjects in shadow. Now, the way to mitigate this problem is using a technique called painting with light. It's quite a simple technique and quite fun to do. All you do is you take a torch, flashlight, and you point it at your subject, keeping in mind to keep the light moving all the time. It only works on long exposures. If you don't keep the light moving, you'll get a hot spot. It's a very simple technique, and I'd really urge you to try it. So the technical aspects of the picture aside, the environment plays a big role here. It's 25 degrees below zero here. And that kind of cold, it changes everything. The plastic in your camera gets brittle. The LCD screen starts to freeze up and your batteries start to die quickly. Big tip, keep those extra batteries close to your body, in a pocket, in a shirt, whatever. Also, you gotta stay warm. You gotta dress for the occasion and don't expect everything to move quickly. You've gotta give yourself lots of time. Just because digital SLR cameras shoot in color, it doesn't mean you have to give up on your black and white images. On the market today, there are a whole bunch of uh, plugins that work in either Photoshop, uh, Lightroom, or Capture One that convert your colors to black and whites. Great tools, and I use them all the time. And that's exactly what I did with this picture here. Now, I'm in a little town called Hoi An in Vietnam, sort of midway up the coast. It's full of alleys, darkened alleys, no light getting in there. As I'm looking at this image, as I'm walking down one of these alleys, I'm automatically thinking black and white. This has got to be a black and white picture. Because there's environmental problems, the lack of light, meaning I'm going to have to push the ISO up to 1600, which will give me some digital noise I really don't want to see. It's that speckly blue and green things you get sometimes in your color pictures with a, lot of, with a high ISO. Black and white tends to take that away. Looks a little more like a traditional black and white image. Now the creative thing I was looking at was I love the way the three little heads are sticking out of this window in a crush. They almost look like they're floating. Also, I wanted to use a, uh, a short lens, so I'm using a 16 to 35 millimeter 2.8 short zoom lens 
set it f 2.8. This way I get a little bit of blur in the two guys to the, to the main guys right. As for asking for permission, there were some parents standing by, so I just nodded with, to my camera, to the kids, to them, and they said, that's fine. Later, I got a postal address from one of the parents, and I managed to send them some A4 prints once I got back to London. So that's it for me. I'm Doug McKinley for Adorama TV. You can subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos. You can like, comment, or share in this video, and please stop by the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.